Alrighty. PG-13, this is G.I. Joe. And we're going way back to 1983. And one of my personal favorites is The Dragonfly. Now, I think also it was changed. They, they lost the rights to the name. So they changed it to The Locust. I'm not sure if that was the 25th anniversary or the 30th anniversary. They keep having so many anniversaries. <laughs> but I think it might have been the 30th anniversary. But it was in the 2000s. It was actually 2000. When they came up with the Locusts. But the original 1983 Dragonfly had chin guns that actually went up and down. These ones here is, well, probably the second version. And the, these ones do not go up and down. It just goes side to side, which is super disappointing. So I'd have to either find another piece or look for a uh, original dragonfly. Now on the original, original dragonfly, it had little holes so you could put the uh, stretcher from dock underneath here. And this would just fit in underneath and it would peg into the holes that they were supposed to have here and then you could transport a person kind of like a mash helicopter and I always thought that would have been just fantastic for playtime but unfortunately a lot of us never got one of these until we got a tag of force version <laughs> but my friend did have the original dragonfly and I just loved playing with it you know you had those little pegs on the side but it, it only held two and this is actually well <clears throat> it's made after the Cobra attack helicopter <laughs> you think it would be for Cobra then with the name Cobra attack and it came out of Vietnam and I would sure like to know why we never got a Huey. Like a Huey would have just been awesome for the line. So I'm hoping that uh, Delta 17 uh, comes up with a Huey. And speaking of Delta 17, Christelle does fit in here. And that's Christelle, not Crystal. <laughs> Christelle with a, with a K. <laughs> so she does fit in here. And, well... Uh, it, it is actually hard to fit certain Joes in here in the first place because the cockpits were never made roomier enough. You know, they didn't have little extra space for the figures. It's just always a snug fit. But she fits in there no problem. <clears throat> that is an awesome Delta 17 figure. So I definitely recommend you you get some of these. At Delta Force, sorry, at Delta toys.com and you can uh, also get them at cobra collectibles.com and don't and be sure to ask for no tax if you get from cobra collectibles.com or ask Steve for a deal when you email him and yes his site should be going up soon enough but now <clears throat> my version you know I I took some I think it's flat black and or is a semi-gloss. No, it looks like flat black. I custom painted my Wild Bill and gave him an Uzi. <laughs> every, every Joe figure should be armed. That's my motto. <laughs> so, he does look way cooler with the black. <laughs> I just love him this. And I did have extra, extra ones, obviously. And this chest piece makes a great custom for your gung ho. But you, you need different arms. <laughs> Anyways, this version of Wild Bill is awesome. Now, unfortunately, this is only a two seater vehicle, so you can only fit two in here. And, well, you have to. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Try to get him in here. You might need a new O-ring. And unfortunately, like, look at the canopy. Just presses right up against his hat. So I don't want to ruin my nice paint job. <laughs> mm. 
but he might need a note. It's time for a new O-ring for him. <clears throat> Anyways, if you do like a simple custom, just, you know, paint this hat black. <laughs> it looks phenomenal. <laughs> oh, you go. It's painted pink. <laughs> now the second, I think this was the second version, or one of the other versions, but this one came with the Locust. But we'll get into that after. And he is actually the Union Colors. <clears throat> Now this is a Canadian version of the of the dragon fly and it's it's pretty cool it's got six missiles you know three on each side those are rockets <laughs> now there is other attachments you can get for your helicopters there's custom attachments to make it look more like a Vietnam style with a small little rocket holder <laughs> Fire rockets. This also looks like it has removable covers for the engine, but we're not going to remove them just because it's old. <laughs> and you know, I am going to raise the flag, so I'm going to have to really <laughs> change everything up here in this room. And then we'll be able to give you videos on the flag. <laughs> <clears throat> So the flag had an awesome little hook you could transport vehicles or hang figures from and I used to always hang figures from this it was a friggin awesome vehicle got so much crap in the room here so we're gonna have to get rid of some of the crap <clears throat> there is other machine guns in the front here just on the one side and obviously the little trigger so you can make your helicopter rotate oh we almost killed Wild Bill <laughs> and it did have another cannon here which is really awkward can't really move it around much kind of pointless <laughs> and it just would peg in here so it's kind of stationary. <laughs> you think if they would have just had a little clip or something. But oh well. <clears throat> and it does have a little bit of jet power back there. And I think this is supposed to be another type of jet as well. And there is no little rotor back here. There's just some fins. So this is an interesting design. You know, it was pretty pretty awesome. Now this would have looked fantastic if it was camouflaged. You know, give it some camo. Black and green. Maybe a little brown in there. And that version was great. But unfortunately, the first version is way better. <clears throat> now yes, I have done videos on the dragonfly and the locust before. And you can see the difference. This one's obviously a little bit wider. And, you know, these blades over time do sag. I mean, you can give them a little slight bend if you want or flip them upside down. This version was fantastic because it did have the chin guns that uh, <clears throat> moved, up and, moved up and down and go side to side. So it was kind of cool. This is a great upgrade, as well as a thicker blade. But it was a plain color, so you could use it for your desert force. Oh no, we gotta peg this in. All right, so. All right, so that pegs in pretty easy. <clears throat> and obviously this is an American version. We got the American flag. And they had to rename it the Locust because they lost the rights to the Dragonfly. You know, if you lose the rights to something, you just put an X behind it. Dragonfly X. <laughs> and there's a number four here, so I'm guessing this is the fourth version. Dragonfly fourth version. And again, you got the same, you know, same guns. This obviously doesn't do much. <laughs> you can kind of move it a little bit, but not really. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. And again, the six missiles. Surface to air missiles, or this looks like a more like a, a dumb bomb. 
but it looks really sharp so you could use this for your desert and again if they had desert camouflage it would have been fantastic so <clears throat> it would have been nice if we got something else more but oh well I would love an Apache so hopefully Steve will make an Apache for the, uh, the Delta 17 line or you know or maybe someone from call sign Longbow Doug Hart, Doug Hart <laughs> could make something and uh, this Dragonfly did come with this version of Wild Bill and he's not too bad and the, his hat falls off pretty easy and they do fit the weapons from Delta 17 so again I'm gonna ask Steve please make us a weapons pack for Delta 17 figures just leave out Jaggers because Jagger's uh, weapon is a little bit too big for his hands. Now, <clears throat> there you go. See, now he's in the Union colors. This is great. This is what they should have done for uh, <laughs> cross country. Put him in the Union colors. If I do end up getting another one, I think I'm going to paint cross country's hat blue and see if his head will fit on that figure. And then we can have a. Uh, a better version <laughs> a more union style so this just looks fantastic wow bill <laughs> the dragonfly was in the cartoon a lot it was one of their main well battle vehicles <laughs> however this one also does not have the holes for the stretcher underneath, it would have been cool if they would have incorporated that. It's just sad that they didn't. But I do love the design. <laughs> well, now sometimes you can click these things so they stay. Canopy will stay up. Just be, you know, gentle with your, your vehicles. You don't want to break it. See, she fits in there no problem. This is a a, a little bit wider. I'm just going to try to bend the legs a bit more. So she does have a, just a smidge extra room in this one. Which is not too shabby at all. Now I don't know if any of the other Delta figures might fit in there. Because they're a little bit bigger. But we can always try. Can always try. <laughs> can never stop trying. Anyways these figures are fantastic. <clears throat> they do peg onto GI Joe vehicles as well, but because of the extra bulk, you have to. He he might fit in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get him in. So oh, a little bit. He's got a little bit of tension on him, but preacher does fit in there. And then they can fly up to battle. <laughs> That's not too bad. They <laughs> crammed him in there. We did the Lawrence. We did the Lawrence cram. <laughs> Lawrence did that as kind of a joke, just to be fun. But anyways, thank you for watching for sure. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share the videos with others. We always seem to run out of time at the wrong moment. <laughs> without giving you all the information. So, anyways, these figures are fantastic. And again, we're going to thank Steve and Ken for the donation of four figures. And thanks everyone else for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and well, let me know what you think in the comments down below.